Right, so plan A didn't work. Couldn't find any problems on the power input. I haven't tried to take the board apart and check anywhere else, but we are getting power in. Um, before we get too carried away, I will just try taking the drive out and plugging it into my adapter that goes straight into the PC and see what we can see on there. I don't expect to see anything. I expect it to um, be hidden from me because it's um, whatever the word is. Encrypted is the word I'm trying to think of. Oh, there's another one under there. This is very definitely a case of I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. But that has come off easily enough. So we can have a quick look, see if there's anything obviously burnt. Right, well, we'll see if we can plug this into my adapter. Um, I'll probably have to take it out of that metal tray, aren't I? Yes, I bought, I'll show you in a minute, but I bought an external adapter that allows me to um, put connect hard drives to my PC without actually having to take the PC apart. Okay, there's our drive. Right, this is my adapter or hard disk drive docking station which also takes all the different cards gives you a couple of extra usb ports you can connect it in via a sata lead sata or usb power goes in there one off switch there and that just slots straight in there And you can copy drive to drive from the old style to the new style or the other way around. Anyway, I'll go and plug that in and see what my PC thinks of it. Right, I'm just trying my SD card data recovery program. See what that comes up with. It does say it's going to take 16 hours. It is finding some files, so we'll see what comes up. Well, it appears to have found some stuff. <laughs> uh, 668893 recoverable files, it says. That's an awful lot. Well, I was thinking of just recovering a couple of files and checking them, but we're going to be going out now, so I'm just going to leave it running and try and recover all the files, whether they're any good or not. Transfer them straight to one of my other external drives. I thought I'd do a bit of screen capture this time instead of trying to film it with my camera. Um, yeah, some success and some failure. I tried recovering everything in one go, um, and put it into this folder, WD My Book Live, and it froze after many hours of work, and it had recovered 390,000 657 files.
in five different folders. What it does is it puts it in the folders by type. So you've got video files in one folder, um, image files in another folder, and so on. And I think it failed on the image files because most of the files that it was recovering were image files. Uh, this thing's designed to recover from SD cards, or at least that's what it calls it. But it seems to work on any external drive. And the ones that it had recovered were fine. But I've started it all over again, so we're probably talking four days so far. I'm working on this, trying to recover the files. And this time... I'm recovering them by file type. So I'm currently recovering the video files. It says there's 6,106 of them. It's been going for, uh, I don't know, what time is it? It's nearly midnight. It's probably been going for about eight hours. Um, although, no, I did recover, I recovered the music files first. So I've got them, I'm now doing video files, I think I've done something else as well, but I've probably got another another day or so to go just doing this, but it looks like it's working. So whatever encryption they've used, this thing seems to be able to read it. It looks like their encryption may have just involved marking them as deleted files. Either that or it's just recovering deleted files, but that's an awful lot of deleted files. So, anyway, we got positive progress. Just a quick demonstration of some of the recovered files to demonstrate they do actually work. These are some old ones. Uh, that looks like underwater in the Maldives. Yeah, that'll do. That just shows one of my old files has been recovered. Shut that down. Um, audio. Come on. Because it's such a big database, it takes ages to find stuff. There you go. And like I say, although the track numbers haven't got the names on them, we have got the title, the artist, and the album, and the track number on the album. Because just about anything I click on will be copyright. So there's not much point in doing that. <laughs> Terry Wogan. Yeah, that'll do. It seems to have worked. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.